I'm Sir Tap Tap. Let's play Shotgun vs. Zombies. The less kid friendly version of Plants vs. Zombies, where you plant guns in the ground and they shoot zombies. I'm being completely serious. Maybe not. This is some pretty complex game mechanics. I hope I can comprehend. This music's pretty awesome. That's a nice bass to it. Um, crap, there's no, there's nothing to look at in the menu. I wanted to listen to the music more. Uh, minus 50 billion points for not letting me listen to that for longer. Okay, no mouse involved. Okay, you can use your arrow keys or your WASD. Okay, good, it still has more good music. Oh, how do I... I just muted it on accident. Okay, wait, what? Okay. Getting used to controls. Box. Oh, okay. Thought it was dead for a second there. You shoot boxes to open them. The only reasonable way to open a box is to unload a couple of shotgun shells into it. Keep thinking that's going to kill me. Suppose I'll learn. Missiles? Sure are. So it's like a survival thingy. I see what we're doing here. I wonder if I have ow. No, turn around. Pellet spread or what? Oh, yes I do. Not sure I like the bar, the progress bar. The loading and steps. It's kind of a few too many steps. Or a few, like, too few discrete steps, actually. Makes it look kind of jerky. These are all very oddly identical zombies. Still good music, though. Be nice if there are a little variation. The nice thing about Flash is that you can, you know, make a few different versions of. Hey, no! I lost my bonus monies. I didn't know that was a bonus end of round bonus thingy. What's going on here? Like, do I click this to upgrade or that? I guess that. Oh, I see. I see. I don't have enough money to get that. That's why that's blanked out. Um, I don't want more... I guess the big thing is reload speed. Why does the stock add reload speed? Oh well. Oh, you can melee! Very slowly. Other keyboard keys. What was that? Press P to pause the game! Pause the game! It's very loud! M keys to mute and unmute sound and music! Q's to change graphic quality! Okay, so we got some variations coming on here. It would be nice to see more just graphical. I'm actually gonna change the quality to medium. Say like on medium? I guess it's not really lagging, it's just kind of slow, the animated. Huh. Oh well. Like, it feels kind of a little sluggish. Not so much to be really bad, just enough to notice. Yeah, I would like some more cosmetic differences between the zombies. Just as a little flair. Like, um... Epic Battle Fantasy, those games, and pretty much anything by, oh god, my health. Um, I have two skulls and two rib cages. That's kind of impressive, actually. Yeah, more health, please. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Epic Battle Fantasy, that is like your gold standard for variety in enemy types. Because he's got like multiple... For most of the enemies, there's multiple visually distinct, like, items, like, 
not hats, but like, you know, just little bits and pieces of enemies that are different. Not enough to make them entirely different enemies, but just enough to make them more visually interesting. So it feels less like you're fighting, you know, 15,000 the same exact enemy. You still are, of course, but still. Can I manually reload? I shall test. Yeah, I don't... I can't. Um, no, there doesn't seem to be one. Missiles! Not sure why their brains are square. Well, it's either their brains or their intestines. I'm not sure which. The pink things that fly out of them. Probably brains. Zombies are all about the brains, after all. Oh, I keep forgetting to jump. I hate when up is jump, by the way. I mention this every time when up is jump, but with rare exception, it's generally pretty bad to have up be jump. Though it's actually not that bad in this one, because it's not a platformer. Ah, oh, no! Money! That is so mean. You get so little time. More... D I wanted more damage. Whatever. Fire rate will do. Wait a minute, were those death things lives? Do I have limited lives? So that's mean. Yes, you did. You're a jerk. Upgrade the shotgun to its maximum power. Alrighty-o. And have completed at least 25 stages. And the most important thing, don't ask me why zombies are coming from the sky. If you ask him why the game is over, why am I glowing? Why was I glowing? I assume I was like super powered or some crap, but I didn't see the pickup that caused that to happen. I'm thinking damage upgrades will be more useful in the early game because it'll let you break open and collect more of those end-of-level uh, chests. Not chests, but you know what I mean. The, uh... Oh, ice! Okay, so bayonet attacks um, penetrate enemies. Shotgun blasts do not. At the end of this level, I need to- Oh, there's a zombie remaining count. That's what that is at the top right there. No! No, open the box! <laughs> I want money! Uh. Healing pellets. Oh! That seems nice. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's just the level. Okay, I don't think we have lives at all, then. That's good. Um... My glasses are dirty and it's bugging me. Chance to freeze the zombies. Be right back. Okay, what do I want to upgrade? Probably damage. Fun fact, it snowed today. We're supposed to be done with this winter crap, but... Suck on yet. Just some quick message. Aw, oh, and that's so unfair. I mean, that is exactly fair, but still. So it's better to not upgrade your gun. Well, that's great to know. Baby zombies? Screw that. But yeah, it's pretty dry, and so... I usually only wear my glasses when it's really dry, or... If for some reason my eyes feel dry and I don't want to wear my contacts. Vastly prefer contacts. Would vastly more prefer not wearing anything like that, but whatever. No! Open the box! There you go. Oh, so it's a shield. Okay. I knew it was some sort of supercharged power thingy. I didn't know what kind, though. Whoa, it just ends abruptly. So 
So I guess the difficulty is tied to how well upgraded your shotgun is, not actually the uh, stage difficulty. That's an interesting twist. Can I just hold- oh, you can just hold it down. Is it just me or does it seem like there's differing delays between when you fire us? I oh, know you can fire a bit quicker if you just spam the button. Oh, and meleeing you do not. You do have to spam the melee button no matter what. It's definitely better to spam melee if you are using the shield the babies. If you've got a shield active, just wander right to the middle of them and smack them around a bit. Until it runs out. Okay, run. How many more stages of this do I have? Because it seems like they're getting fairly long. I think I'm like stage 6 or something. I'm probably not going to get to stage 25 at this rate. That's a bit long. It's been a fun little mindless get upgrades kill stuff game. not quite enough that would keep me going for, you know, 25 stages. I'm sure there's more enemies I haven't met yet and all that crap, but... Uh, if it may be a bit faster paced... Damn it! Ugh, those are so frustrating! Um, yeah, we're at level 5. I'm not playing 5 times. At the current rate, this game would be about an hour long then. That's a decent dis um, not distance, length for uh, upgrade game, but still, no fun to let's play that long. What do I want? Two each time, though. Poison pellets. Rocket launcher. That was good. Let's see how the rocket launcher works. Is like, is it a different button, or does it just randomly fire, or what? I don't seem to be able to fire the rocket launcher. Oh, it just randomly fires. Okay. I guess they're just little additives then. Right. I should probably just hold the dang button down. Honestly, there's not much reason not to, especially if you get more reload upgrades. Just hold down the button and kill everything. Good description this game. And zombies sometimes have two skulls. I'm, just, I'm sure they're just randomized gibs just to give a little. You know, just to make them not identical, but when they have two skulls, I draw the line at two skulls. Unless it's a two handed zombie, then it is perfectly acceptable. But one headed zombies, two skulls, that's, that's just not right, man. So are they poisons when I get the biohazard symbol thing, or what? Because it slows them down and they seem to just randomly die, but not all, not all of them, so I don't know. And I guess the fact that you don't have a manual reload button or an indicator for how many bolts you have, it's definitely pushing you towards, uh, just spamming the button. They're not spamming. Holding down the fire button. As opposed to, you know, carefully managing your shots on the sucker. See, I just wish it was a bit faster paced, because I would like to play more of this, but... I just know it's going to get boring fairly soon. 
bunnies? Here. I still dig this music. I just want to have all attachments. I'm, I'm just gonna get all of the attachments. That is mission number one. Once I get all of the attachments, we'll see if I want to actually play more. Wait. Is it any faster? I guess it's a little faster if I play at minimum quality. I'm not sure why. This should be, I should be able to play this just fine. Actually, maybe it's not actually any faster. I don't know, the animation and stuff just feels sluggish, but I think it's just how it goes. I don't know. It's just kind of bugging me. It just feels like everything should be happening faster. Though the upgrade system for the shotgun seems pretty cool. I like the variety of upgrades, like the the attachments to do freezing or poison and all that stuff. That's cool. Oh god, what? Fucking gas masks shooting at me. That's not cool. I'm the guy with the gun. You're not supposed to have a gun. That's fair. That's not right. You shouldn't be fair. It's stupid. Zombie babies. I will kill all of your zombie babies for this injustice. That's right, no more zombie babies for you. Also, it'd be nice if they didn't all have the same head, like if they had brains coming out of different parts of them. That just goes back to what I was saying earlier about just more cosmetic differences. The ones with guns seem really have really low health, so definitely target them first. I guess maybe they have regular health compared to normal stuff and they just don't have the shield guys health. Stupid shield guys. Alright, I'll definitely have enough money for the uh, next upgrade. For the two attachments I'm missing. So we'll just get that, and I'll play one more level, and we'll see how we feel after that. Alrighty. Everything. Look at that gun. That thing belongs in Borderlands. So you can't have more than one element. Well, you can, actually. There, There's one gun in Borderlands 2 that, that does slag and... Slag and electric, but unfortunately the gun slags you, so that's kind of lame. And there was like the, I want to say Tempest, but I know that's not it. Um, Typhoon, I think, that did shock and corrosive damage in Borderlands 1. But yeah, neither of those seem very practical. Well, the Typhoon maybe, I never had that one. But the one that slags you is just... I find it hard to tell when my elemental effects are actually taking effect. By elemental effects, I mean special attachment things. Though it seems to be way, way more effective with all of these on. Which it really should be. Because I'm like proccing and activating like a special effect every single shot at this point. It's actually picking up more than I expected. This adds a lot more than... What I like about the attachments is that it adds more to the gun than just, you know, better, stronger, faster gun. It... In an important way, it really is like Borderlands, because it does give... You know, the guns in Borderlands don't just get better, there's all this weird, cool stuff you can have that's not just, you know, straight up damage. And, you know, comparing numbers. It's all the ridiculous gimmicks, like setting people on fire, and slag, and corrosion, or shotguns that shoot rockets, rockets that shoot more rockets, rockets that shoot large numbers of other rockets. 
Um, lots of stuff. Now we're gonna kill ten more zombies. I may return to this. I'll see how many levels I have left to go. Got lots of money this time. That was not bad. Eight. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I'm not gonna go like, what is that, 17 more levels? I don't think that's gonna happen. Anything fancy. What is this? Oh yeah, it just increases the effect. But yeah, it's a fun little game. I'd play it more, um, if I were just playing for myself, I'd play longer, but I don't want to subject you guys to just more of the same. So give it a try yourself if you want to.